And now for our rapid fire business update, it ranges from banking to the sponsorship of Carnival. Here's Bernard Fannis. I am Bernard Fannis with your business update. The Chief Executive Officer of CIBC First Caribbean, Rick Parkhill, has paid an official visit to St. Lucia. The visit served to acquaint the CEO with the bank's local achievements and operations and to personally engage staff in terms of the strategic vision of the bank. Exchanges between the CEO and employees took the form of town hall meetings at the branches of CIBC First Caribbean. The highlights of the visit included discussions with key corporate clients. Probity Business Services, with support from the St. Lucia Industrial and Small Business Association, SLISBA, has organized a one-day human resource managers and shop stewards training program. It is slated for August 6 at the Obe Seraphin. The training will focus on the following areas, recruitment and dismissal processes, employee rights and obligations under the Labor Code of St. Lucia, and conflict resolution in the workplace. The training targets managers, shop stewards, and human resource personnel, and is geared towards addressing the major challenges faced on a daily basis. In Carnival news, Lime has once again contributed to Carnival celebrations as it announced what it calls a huge sponsorship package. The company is providing financial, telecommunications, and promotional support to three Carnival bands, Toxic, Legends, and Outcast Revelers of Viewfort. Lime is also the main sponsor of the Waves' outrageous sex scene Black and Peter Soka Stars and Euphoria featuring Teddy and John in concert. The St. Lucia Association of Registered Tents, Start, has also benefited from Lime in a big way. Lime is a title sponsor of Start and amalgamation of all the Calypso and Soka tents on the island. Lime also sponsored the Ave Maria Girls Primary School's third annual Ave Clash and the National School's Calypso Competition. And that is our business report for tonight. I am Bernard Vanis.